Let's do a new game. Oh, straight into the game. That's cool. Yeah, so kind of walled off already. Invisible walls, but the same asset is over there and over there. Looks like we're kind of forced into this little cave here. Yep, straight into it. Let's go. I'll go this way. Oh, yeah. I like how it gets blurry when you get close to the, the edge of the like the playable area. It's a nice touch. It's kind of like I can't see. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me or no? You can't see my camera, can you? All right, give me a second. Let me see if I can. Can you see both or no? Well, OBS is using the camera. So I might be, not be able to use it on both locations. Yeah, no. Alright, whatever. Alright, back to the game. I cannot. Okay, cool. Which way should I go? Left or right? Alright, let's go right. Left and right again. Alright, let's go right. Oh, I'm finding. Yeah, not now. This is considered a, a walking simulator with exploration and spooky aspects to it. Yeah, walking sim. That's neat. Little area they brought me into. Oh, well, can't go that way. That's neat. So far, it's just a. Uh, Should I do it this way or this way? Left? That's, I think that's the way it said not now. Yeah, that's the way it said not now. That's so cool though, the, the difference in quality, like, this is so bland. And then all of a sudden you turn this, it's like, oh, hey, they turned the graphics on. Mm -hmm. Standard definition, not even standard. It's like 320i, Ooh. 2k. Let's leave it this way. Okay. 
ね。Spooky. Just some bats drawn. Some they are. They're bats drawn on the wall. I like two in. Yeah, whoops. That's what I thought too. Maybe E. Easy. Oh, crouch works. Air keys, yeah, I thought air keys. No, that doesn't work. Mouse scroll. Yeah, I'm not going into the settings. You should natively be able to find it. Not now. Okay. Well, we got to the end, but I guess we didn't get to the end that they want us to get to. This way, I say on average this game is, takes about a, an hour and a half to complete. Go this way. Yes, I think we go this way. <laughs> I guess I'm following the arrows. <laughs> Do I really want to check the paintings? What paintings? Dude, I was so blind I didn't even see the, the fucking arrows. Right? See if we get spookified in here. It's a big old room. Okay, I already seen the bats. Do I need to find more bats? Okay, there's the bats. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, there's more arrows. Okay, not now. All right, so I think I need to go back towards the beginning. In the meninging. Yes, I am. It's not on the VOD. Let's have this game. And Jester. I'm trying to figure out this demo. I got to the end of the cave and it says, I want to enjoy the paintings first. So I'm, I'm looking for these paintings that I need to enjoy before I exit the cave. I guess they're down this little corridor. Oh. A lot and a lot. Oh, boogeyman, huh? Okay. You tell me there's boogeyman in, in a dark cave. Oh, look, there's some trash. 
Yeah, they're all booger mans. I don't have a lot of camera left. Okay, not now. I can't go that way. Okay, no. All right. So maybe I can go back and leave now? I'd like to get out of this cave. Turn this off and let's see. Some hella night vision, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, right? Alright, let's go all the way back out. And we'll hit that left side of the wall. All the way back out. Glowing in the dark, or well, I'm supposed to be holes. Cold soda. Okay. It doesn't. Yeah, it says cold soda on it. I like rusty spoons. <laughs> the day been yeah did I went all the way out the outside I want to make sure there was nothing okay did y'all see that off the edge of the screen when I did that an artifact okay yeah Sorry if there anyone's getting s motion sickness with this, but I don't care. Like I said in my uh, like console games, I'm not a camera person. I don't like playing console games. I can watch people, I just don't like controlling the camera. That, that's just not my style. I don't like controlling cameras. The camera should just follow the, the player. <laughs> yeah, I played Black Desert back in the day. I had a, a faction and old guild. Oh, well, it was called a family back then. Yeah, you pretend what you, you pretend to know. That's right. Uh huh. Hundred percent do. Oh. 
more arrows and I wonder what this are these like are they do they glow in the dark they don't glow in the dark okay just means that uh oh look nuclear <laughs> Tremors out here. I'm standing on rocks, so I should be fine. <laughs> no boogeyman yet. Hey, boogermans. Any boogermans out here? a new sound all right let's go see what it is like I always do <laughs> run towards the the spooky thing I mean the sound effects are pretty nice I wish they were more centric to your headphones instead of just in the environment itself the audio cues left and right are pretty good as far as the music and whatnot, but I think the audio itself for the sound effects needs to be a little bit more centric to your ears. Like as you're rocking past the the sound, the sound needs to go around you like the 3D effect around you. It just kind of sounds like it fills the environment. Yeah, see like that sound just sounds like it's falling around you. Like you're sitting in a tent and someone's throwing sand on the tent. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, it almost sounds like it's behind you. All right, let's go left. Couple of tents in here. Yeah. Okay, these scripted like cutscene ish things to make you look at the tents is not really I don't I don't like that. If I want to look at them, I'm gonna walk up to them and look. Now if you wanted me to look at something specific, then you can put some like cues or something not even arrows you just put something here that draws your attention you know I look like bodies sound effects are eh, a little bit too much is that bottle I thought that bottle was like moving around when I first came up to it. Okay. It's sweet beer. Okay. It's a lot of, uh, wait, can I pick up that head? I can. It's the soda. It's like a Fanta from Mexico. <laughs> what we got here? Can I turn this off? No, I can't. Alright, it's Buddy Caven. Okay. Probably another one of these cavers that are in here. Can we get like a, a reading option? Like when you can click a key to, yeah on the side where it has like all the text real big on the side where you can read it because I'm not gonna be oh never mind <laughs> <laughs> I, I just uh, accidentally hit E but when I hit E I rolled my mouse wheel up at the same time and it went Whoop. <laughs> no it doesn't it's just this that's what you're holding yeah ow 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 Awa, awa. 
<laughs> yes, just like the dumb dog. There's cave paintings, it was uh, the equipment, ultrasonic sensors. Yeah. Heather Walker. It's a hell of an American name, huh? Beer. Uh, is there any boogermans out there? Boogermans. He, you thought he had something sticking out there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I pick up this one too? I can. Is there any differences between this skull? It is. This is it looks the same asset. Can I pick this one up too? I can. Yeah, see, it's exactly the same asset. And it says ass on his head, so it's an asset. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's another skull. Right back into the sand. Okay. I'm going to put that right back where I found it. What's this? Sardines? Yeah. Yummy sardines. Okay, that's pretty much it here. I can't can't start to fire. All right, so let's go down to the other end of. Yep, motherfucker. Okay, the sound is for that device. This is good. Yeah. But I wish there was... Okay. I know it sounds weird. This is a cave. That sound came directly from there. It's going to reflect off these walls a little bit. So I wish there was like an echo or a cave-ish sound. Like you're in a cave. You, how it has a little ping off the walls a little bit. It has a couple reflections here and there of the sound. Not too much, but enough to where you, well, I swear it just sounds like you're in a cave. You know, auditoriums have their own sound, caves have their own sound. I know that would be hard to do without going and putting that thing, that sound asset in a cave and then trying to replicate it. it it's too much work, but I mean, that would be pretty cool to, to see. Let's go to the left since we just came from that way. One must lock in. Focus basically. We get it. Go dive in. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they Gen Z that. Interesting choice of music. Okay, I guess that's a not now area. Okay, go this way. We just squeeze through here without squeezing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. I mean, it jump scared me. That's neat. So they're going to release the game one in January next year. It took them nine months to get that far. Yeah, not bad. All right, well, I mean, this was interesting. 
there's some interesting takes on it for nine months it's not bad work especially if it's your first game i mean the assets when you change from one to the other at the beginning was kind of like wow okay and then the sound could be a little bit better but other than that i mean yeah turn some of it down a little bit other than that i mean yeah like these assets are <coughs> uh, pretty crazy these sounds pretty loud for my sound to be at 42 The jump scare part worked well. I think that's an asset from like most indie devs use. I think I've seen it in a lot of the, the games. But other than that, I mean, pretty fun little game.